Ready, stop running, we got a dog coming. Stop running, Benny. The opportunity came up to be a police officer, so I jumped at the chance and took it. I knew I'd never get another chance to be one, so I took the opportunity, took the tests, and here I am today. <laughs> Got a call for a stolen bike. There are apparently two adults arguing over ownership of a of a bike. What's happening? I live here. You live here? Yeah. I found this bike around the corner today. The last four digits of my social security number been uh, engraved into it. Okay. And I just showed it to him. He agrees that it's my bike. He says he had it in the solar for a year. So why don't you pull? Do you have a receipt for this bike or anything like that? Or is it, did you no. just engrave it yourself? No, no, it's an older bike. I got it used, but it was, I got it used from a friend. But I have my numbers on it. I showed them here, 3646. That's the last four digits of my social security number. If I had, if I had known it was stolen, I wouldn't, you know. How did you come to get possession of this bicycle? It was in, the frame was in, in the cell. All I got was the frame. How did you come to get possession of this bicycle? Because the people moved out from downstairs. And it was one of the th that wasn't all together. It was just a frame, and we rebuild them, or he rebuilds them, and that's why it's got tires and everything else on it. Just gonna talk to him for a second. Hold on here. What, what do you want to do about that? Oh, I think they're just gonna leave the bike. I don't really care about pressing charges. They wouldn't do any good anyway. But some they claim they claim that they found it in the garage or in their cellar, but it was stolen on my garage. Huh. I mean, yeah. I, understand, I understand what he's going through. Yeah. Well, about the light if it was me, I'd... Yeah. How about the light? Was oh, yeah, the light. There was a light, a headlight on it. Yeah. Now, look at you guys. I'll, I will press charges. You want to do it that way? No. It's just... Okay. It's a stolen bike. You put stuff on it. You, you're going to have to chalk it up to experience, or he's going to pursue it, press charges. Do you understand? Yeah, I do. Should have never, should have never done that. You should have never invested any kind of money into it. It's not yours like to begin so with. Wasn't even, it wasn't originally on that bike, but I understand what he's saying. Well, she's home. The two gentlemen wanted to argue the fact that it was theirs and that they hadn't stolen it, but in fact, it was receiving a stolen bicycle, which is a misdemeanor in Massachusetts. But uh, it all worked out. Yeah, can I get a report number from the previous call? We received a call that there's an overturned uh, truck on the boulevard going off there right now. Let me up. Be careful. He might roll back on you. Right. I can't see it, Bob. I can't see. There's blood all in here. I can't see anyone yet. I think he left. Hang on to this door, Mike. It's going to shut on me. Maybe you guys raise to the systems down on First Street Boulevard until our guys get here if they can close it. I don't see anybody. Okay. Did they witness this? Hey, Dave, he definitely took off out of here. There's footprints heading out the door, so, and, it, and they're bloody, so, so someone's going to be cut pretty good. Right down in front of the condos, guys. I guess the, the victims walked down to the condos down here uh, and called for the help down there. Who is driving the car? Uh, Who's driving? Uh, Who's driving? I don't know. 
Were you in it? No. You weren't in the van? No. You weren't? Me? Yeah. No. What, what happened to your head? Me? Yeah. Nothing, sir. Nothing happened? No. You have blood all over your head and glass in your forehead. No. I can see it from here. No. You don't? No. No. Really? Who was driving? You? Who was driving? You? You don't know? Was it you? No, it's English. Did you drive? No. And it wasn't you? No. You? Well, for those that speak English and don't want to, I got an interpreter coming, okay? And if you don't cooperate, guess what? Everyone's going to jail. You have to know who was driving the vehicle. Yes, sir, but I'm not driving, sir. Well, then you tell me who. Sir, you, you the, the, uh, the police, right? Yes, I'm not driving, sir. I'm not driving. Then who the was? Van. I don't know, sir. You I'm were, not driving the van. I say, I repair with you. You were okay? in the front seat. Then anyone. tell me who. Anyone. I don't know, sir. You don't know who it was? I, I say, sir, you police, right? I don't know who's the, 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 I don't know. You don't know who was driving the van? I don't know, sir. Then wh why were you in a van with a guy that you don't know? What guy? The guy that was driving. I don't know, sir. You, you come over here. No more talking to him. No more. I, I, I know to do. Silence. Okay. Go over here. Stand over here. We just want to find out who was driving the truck. Jump right in the car. What's going to happen now is everybody is going to go down to the police station. We're still looking to figure out who is the driver of that motor vehicle. Everyone's got their story pretty well together, though. No one seems to want to, to budge off the story. No one seems to know what the guy looked like, except for the guy we believe is driving it. So uh, we have a little bit of work ahead of us. I've been the uh, police officer 11 years, uh, going on 12. 95% of that time has been here in East Boston. Mm. Vic, how about, a, how about a cutlet sub the way I like it, Vic? No mustard. There you go. What do you mean, no mustard? Where's the mustard? Is that punishment? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That looks good. Woo! Sorry. Um, it's kind of weird. We just got a call for a shoplifter. Um, the guy's following him or chasing him down the street, so I think they spotted him up here. All right, there he is over there. All right, get him up there. You got two one, sir. And I, uh, I came in here and I got some. And then I just came and I got that. And you said you'd be on the level with me. And I said, okay. Are you from Liberty? Are you from Liberty? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just followed them all the way down there. And you said I'll yeah, be on the level. Two one. Level We're with them so. now. We're. Border in uh, Decatur right now. We oh, got I'll come back in there now, but I did buy. <laughs> yeah. I did buy half of this. Keep bag up, all right? Give it to us. Do you have a receipt? Oh, my this stuff. The Do you have a receipt? No, I don't. Oh, no. Okay. But I, I told you I wouldn't come back. I can determine what's mine by my tag on. <laughs> yeah. No, I did come in there and buy something. No. Tell me what's uh, where I am. Listen, listen, keep your dog. Okay, stay over there. Just go over there. Tie your dog to the fence right now. Seriously, just do as you're told right now and put the dog to the fence. This gentleman works down at Liberty Plaza. He's stating that this gentleman right here ran out of his store with several items. As we on sighted it, the call just came over. Okay. No, it wasn't empty. I came in, I went in and I bought So all that stuff went in there on its own, right? No, I paid I paid for some of this, so I don't I don't have this cheap. This here, yeah. I got this here. Well, first it was the ribs. Now you're telling me this. Your story changes every three seconds there. We're not a receipt, my man. Now uh, you got problems. What, what did you just say to me, right? When you said you was being up for me, right? You said, you just yeah. give me what I took, and, okay, and I gave it to you. This is what you took. I told you everything. I told you not to receive from you. You took everything. Well, I don't think you realize how much stuff oh, you took. Black one. Black one. Black one. Black one. Clark, put your hands on top of your head into lock them, please, fingers. Yeah, I want to be in the other. 
Yo, so what'd you say he was going to do? Listen, leave your hands on your head, okay? One thing at a time, man. You know? I, I, you're usual. I took a couple of things. You know, I don't feel that good. What, what, uh, what looks like yours? It's all mine. It's all yours? Every single thing. Yeah, it's all is, is there any cash registers that can verify he came walking in or paid yeah, for anything? Yeah, they got to be. What happened is when I was going to break, I was walking up the stairs. I seen him enter the store through the wrong way. This bag, you know how a bag is when it's empty. Yep. He says, I just got a kid last night. The bag was empty? The bag was empty. He had a slung on his shoulder. Okay. Like this. Yeah, okay. I, I suspected it. Uh, come over here and talk to me for now. All right? Let's... Well, I've talked to him. It's all this, man. You know, I, I told the guy. Put your hands down. Did he, did he go through a cash register? This is what I'm trying to say. He walked right out. He walked right out? Walked right out. Right out. Right out. Right out. Right out. Okay. Because if, uh... Will you speak to that officer, man. please? I got a guy last night you got 17 a... cans of formula. You got any uh, plain clients that walk around there? Okay, no. Right. Listen, do you understand? Don't speak to anybody? Get over there, okay? No, you can't, all right? Until I'm done with it, you ain't gonna get it back. If you continue to go over there, you're gonna get locked up and thrown in the back seat, okay? Thank you. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't talk to him. All right? Don't worry about this right now. Well, you, maybe you should feel like an idiot if you're shoplifting. Okay? That's on you. That's not on us or on him or on them. Yeah. If I told him, if I, if I would come contact. in, you know, I won't come in anymore. So no then more. you'd hit another store? No, I know you. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. Um, you know what I mean? A shoplifter. If I told, if I told you that, would that make any, any? So um, you, you're telling me really? you're a shoplifter, but that I won't even, you know, come in there and deal with the store no more. I won't, you know, won't, won't, you know. Well, let's see if you show up any paperwork. Have you ever been arrested before? I don't have any warrants on me. I just came from court to pay a fine. Okay, the last time. I, mean, I won't come in there no more. I give you my word on that. You know what I mean? I've been doing all along. It's not working. No, but I... The word's out in the street I'm that, I'm, that I'm, I'm easy. I'm, no, no, I'll tell you, man for, man for man, I won't, you know, I won't even come in there anymore. You know? Right now, we're in Paris Street where the alleged shoplifter lives. We're going to see if he can come up with some type of form of identification so that we know who he is and we'll go from there. We're going to be going to the third floor apartment. Third? Who do you live with? Me and her. You and her. Go ahead. Grab the dog, man. Grab the dog. I have, uh, as I said, I don't have any, um, no. ID, ID, picture, ID, ID, license, drinking ID, liquor ID, something. I don't, I don't have any pictures. I don't have any pictures ID. All I have is my license. All right, Clark, do me a favor, right? Put some food down for the dog, cause you're gonna come with us. Third. He'll be down at District Seven, four two two zero. Wow, I mean, we gave you a chance. Man, I told you who I was, man. You know who I am now. I don't know who you are. I still don't know the who you are. The guy's the manager of the building, man. You don't even know I your last name. You don't even know your last name. 75 years old, you see now. OK, well, that still doesn't help us. You just get me back here, bring my dog back, act like, well, you told me some ID, everything's cool. Did you show us an ID? Well, he told me I didn't need no picture ID. No, no, no. no. He told you license, ID, Forget anything. It. Forget it. Yeah. Unfortunately, he had no form of identification, license, liquor ID, nothing like that. So we let the dog run around the house, and we're going to take him to the station just for shoplifting. Liberty Market's been getting hit a lot down there, and they want to press some charges. So that's where we stand right now. Uh, Officer Norton here is going to transport our gentleman to District 7, where we'll go through the booking procedures. Uh, it figures, though, Mikey. You know, the, the guy's been arrested 63 times, five aliases, but he's innocent. I think most police officers enjoy helping people a lot more than they do arresting them. Helping people get through situations, I should say, or maybe finding solutions for small problems. You just play, you wear many hats, you play many roles in this job, and um, I, I enjoy, personally, I enjoy helping people. I have a missing uh, five-year-old child. Not really sure the details. We'll have to go see the mother, see what she has to say. Housing's off 374. Um, explica le que ya no está en la escuela. She goes right there to the school that is right here in Bataville. The daughter does? Uh -huh. She is on medication. She's on She's medication. medication. Maybe mm -hmm. she's on the day. Inside. She doesn't know if she falls asleep inside the bathroom, in the gym room. She has well, was no the school idea. open today? Estaba abierta la escuela hoy. Hasta que hora? Hasta las 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 
It was open until 3 o'clock? Uh -huh. Yeah, the she wants 10, to pick her up. It's in the morning at 3 o'clock. What move. is it a daycare school or what type no, of school? Summer school. Summer, summer school. school. Housing to low. Ma'am, I don't think she would have fallen asleep in the school. Does she have any friends around here? Or? Somebody would have seen her. Has she ever fallen asleep in school before? You don't have any extra kids with you, do you? <laughs> yeah. Where? She's, she's right over here. She, she's right over here on Salem Street. If you would you go stop up there and I'll shoot right up. Housing to housing. Well, we think we know where she is. Watch yourself, okay? Just step in. She might be at the swimming pool. Did you check the swimming pool? Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, let's go back and check again. One of the boys said she might be over there at the swimming pool. So we'll go over there and check. There's so many kids that swim here in the city, you know, hundreds, hundreds of kids over here swimming every day. You might have missed her. Take a portable going off Yeah. Let's go take a look, see if she's here. Come on, Mom. What happened? A boy pushed me in the pool and she choked me. A boy pushed you in the pool and... Uh -huh. It's okay, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't we get your clothes? We want to take you home. We have to get some more information. How? You cannot do this. You cannot just leave and go swimming without telling your mommy. Okay, listen, look at that. Look at me, please. I don't want you to get lost and something bad happened to you, all right? Your mommy's coming to see you and she gets nervous when you're not around. She's afraid. And then everybody, everybody goes looking for you. And guess what? You changed your clothes. We don't even know what we're looking for. Look at me, honey. I'm not mad at you. You had on a pretty dress. Your mommy dresses you real pretty, and then you have on someone else's clothes to go swimming. And we wouldn't even know what to look for. Luckily, one of the boys, one of the boys knew you and knew, knew where you were. You don't do this again? You sure? It was a real relief to, to find the child. Me, myself as a police officer, you kind of get emotionally uh, involved. It's just um, five years old, that, that's close to home if you have children of your own. And um, as you can see, everything worked out pretty well. Okay, we, have, we have a domestic um, victims outside the house. I don't know whether, whether she's been assaulted or not. I'm trying to find her, actually. Oh, yeah. They don't mark any of the doors down here. This is beautiful. Hey! Where did he hit you? In the eye? Okay. So why don't you grab this? You got the call, so she got grabbed. What she got... My dad. Your dad hit him? Where is he? He's in the house. Why don't you put Thank that you. cigarette out, please? Put that cigarette out. Okay, what happened with your daughter? Huh? What happened with your daughter? You slapped your daughter in no. the face? How he, come? He, he go around, he no home. No. Okay, so you want to take this? Yeah. Okay, we, we have to take your husband. Yeah. With us. Can we, have, can we have some shirt and pants? Your daughter's been assaulted. She has a big swell on the face. Did you see that? Yeah. What happened? He, he slapped her face. Can't do that. I'll have to go to court tomorrow. He can no hit. No hit. He can't hit. Can't hit you, can't hit her, can't hit him. Can't do that no more. Michael. So you need to put your hand behind your back, OK? Being arrested for domestic assault and battery, okay? Oh, I'll take it one time, Michael. Right? Stay right there. That's... Just lean up here. That's good right there. You know you can't hit your daughter, right? You can't hit her. Ever. Can't hit nobody. Can't hit your daughter. No book. No school. No school every day. Well, summertime. No school. Before two. Before she wouldn't go to school. Yeah, then you call the police. Here, I got the door. Be 
you're in the realm of correcting your child, uh, when somebody's been slapped hard enough to leave a mark, that's an assault and battery. That's domestic abuse. Um, it takes the guesswork right out of it. There's a lot of good jobs in the world, but we're dealing with the human element here. And so a burglary can be done a thousand different ways by a thousand different people. I like to be able to try and figure out their own modus operandi, their way of doing things, trying to uh, outsmart them. And that's where the thrill comes because no two traffic stops are the same, no two burglaries are the same, no two simple arrests are, are the same. Lincoln, two copies. The subject should be at storage of 152 State Patrol just had a hit and run accident on the freeway, and the suspect has run up on to, uh, through a parking lot here, and we're pulling up on it right now. Okay, I'm 97 there. White male. A uh, long brown, a uh, long hair, T-shirt with a red cross on it, beard, and this is the public. Where's the one in the area? Where's the uh, accident actually happen? On Highway 518. Hi. Hi. Did you see this guy? Yeah. Where? 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 He was right in that corner there, and he took off. We got a Eastbound for McDonald's. Too. Yeah. Lincoln 2, he's last seen running eastbound uh, between 154 and 152 from the highway. Running eastbound 154. So where's the last time you saw him? I had a quarter right there, and then he must climb the fence. OK, well, I'm going to uh, walk down there and look. Lost him right up here on the storage shelf storage place. You got a name on him? No, just a description. You know what? Did you guys check down back here? Uh, well, we got some officers looking around in the corners. Does this go straight yes. down there? Yes. Yes, Jim. Yes. 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 He, he just saw. Lincoln two to Lincoln one. Lincoln. Okay, I got two units here, Mel. All right. Come on out, right now, hands up. Hands on top of your head, interlace your fingers. Stop, turn around right there. Turn around. You look good in handcuffs. Oh, yeah. Okay, spread your feet for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a while since I've seen you. You haven't seen me, brother. No, yeah, I've arrested oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Yes, I've arrested you. <laughs> no, look at you. Yep, I've arrested you. I ain't got nothing, you guys. Making us work hard. DUI, right? All over the place. I'm just a druggie. I arrested you for DUI, right? <laughs> County 2, Lincoln 2 to State Patrol on How Mars. You know your rights I already told them to know the yeah. state. What are your rights? I got one in the air. I have the right to man so I have a safe drill in Canada against you. And what else? You guys are hanging on to me like I'm going to do it. You can't afford one more of your points, on right? Yeah. Before any yeah. question. Okay, you got it. Says Hemp? Yeah. Thank you. We'll take that. Okay. Which car? Mine's full. Is this the only authority you ever have is when you got your badge on there? What's up? It's the only thrill I ever get. Sir? Yeah. Have you talked to State Patrol? Yeah. Okay, well let me get let me get some information. Did you see the accident at all? No, I do I heard about it. And then he came through our lots and we stopped him. And when I said, hold here, and then he cut over here. And I said, down there, he says, you made a hit and run. I said, you need to hang tight here. I said, the police are in their way. And he says, okay, so he started waiting. 
The other guy made the phone call. I ran over here mm -hmm. and uh, cornered him right here. And he started, uh, leave me alone. I said, no, you were involved in a hit and run. I says, I right, gotta wait until state patrol gets here. So state patrol rolls up and then that's when I heard him climb the fence. Okay. And then, then we shot me and the other guy shot down here and lost him. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna need some information from you real quick, okay. but uh, you going back over to Ajax? Yeah. I'll have a trooper come over there and contact you. It's gonna be a couple minutes. Trooper's gotta do some stuff and paperwork and then he's gonna take custody of you. Okay, whose car is it down there? Is it, your, is it yours? What's going on today? Well, um, when that boat was out there changing lanes, we ran around right in the country. Yeah. There's a guy with a boat on yeah, a trailer? That boat and that, that uh, truck, yeah. Changed lanes? Yeah, right in front of my <laughs> And he said it was my fault, and them kids don't even know what they're talking about. All right, sit tight. I'm going to give you the state patrol in just a sec. Um, I've dealt with him before. I've had him for DUI. He doesn't have a driver's license. He's suspended. He took off running because he didn't have a driver's license. Nobody injured in the accident. And uh, then a witness from Ajax Parking saw him, tried to detain him, doing his civic duty, and we appreciate that. Yeah, chased, him across chased him across the street, ran into another citizen who made a phone call and over the fence, and basically I just did an area check all the way down the perimeter here and uh, saw, saw the white T-shirt in the bushes and basically radioed for I backup. I yeah, I wasn't sure. So, I wasn't sure if he was armed or anything, so why, why run in there? I don't have to. Can't hide so. from the police forever. No. See, I don't need a police dog. I got, got that nose thing going on. And another case solved. I've been with the Sheriff's Department for uh, four years now. I enjoy the, the open area of the east side. Uh, I can go from one part of uh, the county here uh, and it might take me uh, 20 minutes or so to, to get to the other part to, uh, to get another call. Um, a lot of rural area out here. I just uh, rather work out in this uh, atmosphere than in a, in a big city. Records 293. 293. I sent 097. We're en route to a trouble unknown. We have a female on the phone up here saying that she's being threatened by a male half who's uh, armed with a baseball bat. Uh, she's threatening to, to go get a gun to solve her problems. 916293. Leanne's daughter was struggling with her in the phone. Can you help Hello, Dee. Hi. What's going on now? Leanna's having a problem with her okay. daughter Watch and her come daughter's over here. boyfriend. Come on over here. Leanna. Thank you. Let's go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. Sit right there. Oh, Sit right there. This Sit right there. Sit, is abusive Sit right there. Daughter. Sit right there. Thank you. It hurt. What's going on here, folks? I find some clothes on the Tunatra County Campson Beeper. I called earlier. I don't want it's my bag. Back. Her clothes are right there. See that brown bag? It's my bag. Okay. Right, that's her You're clothes. Lying. Hey, Shut Leanna, up. Let, let him go ahead and finish his story, okay? All right. Okay, he can have his story. Okay, just hold on. I called earlier for for somebody to come over so I could take her clothes over to her. Okay. And who'd just, you call to? Hold on a second, D. Let him finish. Okay. Sorry. Who do I talk to? I don't know who the dispatcher was. Oh. I called earlier, asked for assistance to take her clothes over to her. Okay. Uh. And she comes over, slinging uh, an axe handle. Okay. St strikes her three times in the leg. Okay. I take I it away from her. You with hey, that. I yeah, hit her back you with took it. it away from okay. Me. Go ahead. Yeah, she's doing the parking lot and she's standing there wailing, threatening me with Excuse it. Me. Do you need uh, medical aid for that, no, sir? I didn't no. touch him. I've had knots in my shins before. Okay. So you tell me you didn't hit this gentleman with that? No, sir. I did not touch him with the stick. Uh, I have a friend that mm -hmm. gave me that stick. He's a Medal of Honor winner. Okay. From Vietnam. Oh, okay. And he okay. said Plus. if you hold it in the middle, they can't take it away from you. Well, well, he he sure the hell did. Yeah. He took it away from me. I whooped my butt with it. <laughs> yes, he did, sir. <laughs> okay. And if you don't believe he whooped on me, I'll show you again. Okay. I don't really like dropping my drawers, but I think this time I can pull up my antlers. I want him to go to jail 
for whooping on me. Okay. He hit and me on the bloody top. States. Stay right here, okay? Okay. Don't go anywhere. I'm not going Be right back. She tells me that you hit her with a stick. He hit I'm not asking you. Twice, honey. I got struck with a stick twice in a, in a shins. She come out with a, with a pick handle. In order to get the pick handle out, she struck me. I had, had a partial cup of coffee, and I threw it at her and took it away from her. OK. Then I did, in return, thump her back at the cap of the leg. So she hits you twice in the shin. Twice in the shins. With this. Yeah. OK. Then you take it from her. I took it from her. And then what did you do? I just took it away from her. OK. And she ran over there. She was calling me all kinds of names. Say she's uh -huh. going to call 911 and have me arrested. OK. Then what occurred? Perfect. That, That's you it. Showed up. When did you hit her with it? When did I? Uh huh. After I took it away from her, after she struck me. Oh. Okay. All right. Good deal. Let's go and have a seat in this car over here. Which one? Uh, Do I got choice? This one? Yeah, we'll go sit in this car right here for a half a second. Right. Getting needles, knives, anything in your pocket? Nah. Uh, okay. Go ahead and have a seat right here. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? All right. Damn. He seems to be somewhat sober. He says he's coming over here to drop off some clothing for uh, his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And that uh, when he gets here, he's confronted by mom, who's accusing him of, of beating up on girlfriend. And uh, mom brings out the ax handle and uh, takes it to, the, to his shins there for a couple times. And, and uh, so. He takes it away from mom and then smacks her in the back of the leg with it. And that's where we're at right now. Okay. Where's mom live? Across the street? Mom lives in the trailer, trailer right here. He was the guy for the governor of Oregon. All right. And he was a very prestigious individual. And he gave me that stick to take care of myself. And I okay. would like to have it back. OK. Please. We will get it back. Okay. Get it back. Thank you very much. All right, we'll, we'll work on that. Down okay. Thank you. you will. Right. I yeah. Don't worry. Cause I'll I... get it back to her, D. Okay. Thank you. Please. All righty. Come on. Please. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Please. You can get it. Oh. All right. Good night. Good night. Well, we're sending her home to the gal who lives across the street, D. And uh, hopefully, if we can get D to tuck her into bed, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to run this gentleman here for for warrants to make sure he's not wanted. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take all the information, write up a quick report, and we'll process it with the prosecutor's office and uh, let them deal with it. We're out to a report of a domestic it's just down the street here. Don't know any of the details yet, other than a uh, male and a female are fighting in an apartment. Again, we're just down the street. The, uh, our backup unit's right behind us. Hey, you okay? Okay. Spike. Is there anybody else at home with you? Okay, you're all alone. Okay. Spike. Who's Kenny? Kenny's my husband. He was standing outside the door. What's Kenny look like? He's about six feet tall. Mm -hmm. Is he white or black? He's white. Boyfriend, girlfriend, or you're married? We're married. Okay. But he's got. He's got um, go previous assault against me. I mean, look, I don't have no front teeth. Okay. He did that. Did. He's got Lakewood assault. What do you mean by picking on you? You said he was picking on you, so you probably called him He pushes me around. He walks, he gets up, and he goes, okay, bam. Okay. He was doing that tonight, or he yeah. does that in the future? Yeah, he does it all the time. Okay. Do you have any? I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big girl, but look, I can't walk. I don't want him to touch me. I'm tired of him and beat me up. When was the last time we came out here? I think the like, 17th of July. Okay, was anybody arrested at that point? He was. He was? First saw? Okay. He busted my lip. Only had three stitches in it. Okay, have you ever had a restraining order against him? No. Okay. 
Any reason, you, any reason why not? Because I'm scared of him. Okay. Um, how many times has he been arrested before in the past? For domestic violence? In this state, about five times. Is that your gold car right out front there? Yeah. He's got the front seat tilted back. That's my car. He's sleeping soundly, so I'll wait till, uh... Shall we? Bye. Ken, how you doing? You step out of the car for it? Relax. You, man. Relax, Ken. Relax. Relax. Relax, Ken. Ken, turn around, put your hands behind your back now. You guess me? Uh, turn around and put your hands behind your back now. Turn do it. Face the car. Do it now. Ken, go ahead and do it. All right? It'd be real stupid not to. Turn around and put your hands behind the car. You're not going to win this one, all right? Do it. It's been it's hard, but you're going to do it. Ken. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Last time. Do it. Relax. 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 Reason. Explain it all to you in just a second. Reason. Explain it to you all in just a no, second. No, you again. explain it to him now. No, I'd like reason. to read you your rights before I do that. No. Again. Reason. Okay. You're in arrest for domestic violence assault. Domestic violence. Degree. I never touched it. Look at my back of my neck. Okay. okay. That's why I'm sleeping in the damn car. See it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, why am I being arrested? I did the right thing. I walked out. I'm sleeping in the car, right? And before we can talk to you too much, we've got to read your rights. Then we'll be happy to explain everything. Why am I, my rights being read? Okay. Huh? Because you're standing in handcuffs, and otherwise we're wasting our time to talk to you. Yeah, well, you, you're wasting your time. Why? Okay. We're listen to that big guy. I'm going to well, listen to you. Everything. Okay. Why? All right. If you don't listen to him, I'm going to have to read your rights. Okay? We have to do it before we can get Reasons. to the Look at my neck here. Okay. We'll get into that. Why? As soon as we read your rights. Okay. Why is my rights being read? Okay. Why? Because you're standing here in handcuffs. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting outside. I walked out. Right. Why is my rights being read? Okay. Why? We've explained that a couple times already. Okay. Why? You can listen to us or ignore okay. us. Ken. Okay. Listen up. And I we'll can break out of these things. You know that, don't you? Okay. You'll regret it. Snap. Okay, no, no, I, okay. no. You will regret Ken, it. you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court or other proceedings. You have the right to consult an attorney before making any statement or answering any question. You may have in person any different question. I'm listening to you. You may Look have an attorney appointed by the court to represent. You cannot afford or otherwise obtain one. If you decide to answer questions now, with or without a lawyer, you still have the right to stop the court. I walked out for the purpose man. of consulting a lawyer. Do you understand I, your rights? I did the right thing. I Do walked you understand down. your rights. I walked out Do you and then I was sleeping in the car. Well. Since you're not going to answer that question, we can't talk to you further. Okay? Do you understand? You did the wrong your thing. That's what you did. Do you understand your rights? You did the wrong thing. Okay, let's go. You're not willing to talk. Let's go. She never was touched. I did the right thing. And yet you're you're talking to me. You're stupid. Stupid. Right, stupid. Get off. Okay. I'm gonna be ignorant now. You know why? Go ahead, be ignorant. Because yeah, I will. Now, I'll be ignorant when I, wherever you take me at. I'll be ignorant. Okay. Good evening, David. Have a seat. You were wrong for doing what you did. Well, you're not willing to tell me your side. You're not willing I to guess not. play the game. Because you pressed me, didn't you? You, 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 you slapped these, didn't you? Sit Stand down. Didn't you? You slapped these on. Ken. You don't want to listen to me. Go ahead and take a seat, Ken. Didn't you? Sit down, Ken. Didn't you? You don't want to listen to my side, did you? Yell at you you didn't want to listen to me, Ken. You, had you didn't want to listen to me, did you? I wish I could have. You didn't. But you arrested you me all along. You not to listen to me. Sit down. Didn't you? Sit down, Ken. It's over now. Sit down. It's over. Yep, sit down. I did the wrong I did the right you thing. You did the wrong I went, thing. Yeah, right. uh, sit down. I went to my damn car sit to down, be silent. Sit down, Ken. Ken, you need to sit down. Sit. OK? Get in the car and Didn't sit I? Down. Sit down and talk to us, Ken. Sit down, Ken. Sit down and talk to us, Ken. I know you're going to pepper gas me. I know that. OK, so you have a choice now. Sit down and get in the car, because I'm not going to fight you here. The door I guess you can't. I'm handcuffed. So sit down in the car. What you gonna do? Beat me with my hands and tie my arm and back? Nope. Sit in the car. Is that what you gonna do? Sit down. Okay, but I yeah, did the right I thing. I slept in the damn you car. You sit down? Seat belt if you can. Seat belt if you can. Well, I can't say he didn't have fair warning.
Um, anytime you go hands-on with a subject, it can get real unpredictable. And it can find space like that in the doorway, it can get real ugly. Um, we're trying to use the minimum amount of force necessary to do what we need to do. Uh, in a lot of cases, that's going to be the, the capstone, which is 5% uh, pepper spray. Um, it's, it hurts while it's in their eyes and in their face, but it's a lot better than all of us getting a knockdown, drag out fight. It saves a lot of people from getting hurt, um, including the suspect. Our department is very close knit. We work very well together. Everybody out here knows that they have a job to do, and we go out here and do it. Uh, most deputies will, uh, assuming that their district is clear, will leave their district and go into uh, somebody else's district and help them out. So it's nice to have that kind of camaraderie that um, people don't say, "Well, it's not my district. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to go over and help him with his, with his work." So. And yeah, he's definitely running for me now. I'm still not uh, close enough to him yet. Stand by. McCord heading towards Pack Highway. Heading towards Pack Highway, Denny, Shell, Well, we've got a guy that's uh, up here running from us that we've been trying to catch. He's got a couple warrants out for his arrest. He, uh, he has successfully eluded us multiple times. 290 County, somebody was just dumped out of the car at Pacific Highway in New York. Female. And stand by. Okay, he's running now. He's bailed out of the car. He wrecked the car. He's running back towards uh, uh, back towards New York. He's actually going over the freeway now. He's in the car and took the shit. He crashed the car and he's running now. I'll be getting out here in a second. Benny, stop running! We got a dog coming! Stop running, Benny! You better stop running, Benny! That's my car, Jerry. You think I gave you What's that? You think I gave you Yeah. Get over here. Is there going to be a way to get him? <laughs> we'll squeeze you through there. No. Yes. One time. Go over here. Take around to the gate. Oh, you got over here. Squeeze me through here. Oh, there's a gate over here. Right. Right. Cheers. Yeah. We can go through. Squeeze through there. Squeeze through there. Hey, Benny, squeeze through there, Benny. Go. Dog. Get yourself through, bud. Go. Oh, my arms bleed. Ah! 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 Put your leg through. Ah! Benny, nobody hey, can touch me. Put your Just leg through. Look at my arm, cuz. Okay. Step, step through, How's Benny. That? Step through, Push Benny. the gate, cuz. Step through, Benny. Tell me to let go of your arm. Can you push the gate? Go. The gate. Just step oh, through. Oh, yeah, I can push that. Push the gate. Go. Chris, you gave this uh, suspect here. We've been looking for, like I said, for several months. And every time we go to uh, try and arrest him, he is either gone or he runs from us. Well, he decided that uh, he didn't want to stop. So we chased him a little ways. He uh, had a female in the car with him. Either she jumped out or he pushed her out at, uh, at a stop sign. Actually, the car was still moving. He, uh, trying to get away, he wrecked his car. He got out and ran, uh, chased him. He ran across the freeway. Now he's gonna go to jail for his warrants and uh, anything else that we can figure out that he's done. Benny, who was, who was the gal in the baby in the Oh, no, you didn't get him. I, I know, because they got in the car and left. All right, then, that's what she was supposed to do. What, was he trying to go up? No. I think he was trying to get back to that driveway. 
Who? You. Nah. I mean, I was trying to get somewhere, period. Just get somewhere. Well, you're going to get somewhere. You're going to end up in Seattle, man. That ain't <laughs> so. You'll be back. OK. I'll be out in a minute. You'll be back. Well, a couple we'll, we'll play this game again. Wh whose car is that? Huh? Whose car is that? Smoke low. Who? A smokers. OK. How come she hasn't reported it stolen? She's not stolen. What's she traded it to? Hey, hey, Pac-Man, can yeah. I get a favor, though? Well, maybe. Can I get my clothes out the back, Cash? Where am I going to put them? Take them to jail with me, Cash. We have clothes down the corner. No, my clothes in there. How them much clothes is in there, In man? that bag, Cash. $100 clothes, Cash. Okay. Them expensive bag clothes in the okay. back seat. I just picked them up. You can call me Pac-Man. Come on, you love three rags and good rags. Go, Hold on, you can call me Pac-Man. You can call me deputy, but you don't call me cuz. All right. Okay. Can you get my clothes for me, Pac-Man? Well, let me see how much there is. If there's a whole big bag in <coughs> jail, we'll take them. Okay, go with him getting his car, and I'll see what there is. No, I haven't. Oh, can I get my jacket with my money Benny, in it, though? Yeah, listen up, okay? Get it. Before we, before you go anywhere, listen up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. Do you understand all that? Do you understand all your rights? No. You don't? What don't you understand? What you just read. Okay. Number need... two and three and four. Okay. All right. Well, we'll get you a crayon over there, and, and we'll, we'll write it out for you, okay? How's that sound? All right. All right. A hundred dollar pair of shorts. Those are just put on. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Look at those. Look at that, man. I, I can get in there three times. Yeah. And I bet he looks good in those, too. Man. I'm surprised he outran you as far as he did there. Study. <laughs> well, he he had a little bit of a, a jump on me because I didn't know he pulled in there. So I went straight. I, I started going straight. And about, oh, just past that telephone pole, I saw his car. And by that time, he was already halfway across. The... He'll run again. I mean, oh, if, okay. if we take the cuffs off of him. Perspective, I, I would think you. That bad? I mean, does it look that bad, really? I mean, what was she wearing? Is this gonna be like a domestic thing? I would say so. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Why didn't she hit you in the head of the car? No, I can't. Um, she thought I was seeing somebody inside the, the bar there, and inside she... what? Hyoka Gardens or Baldwin Street? Hi, cute Garden. Could she still be in there right now? Did she take oh, off? I doubt it. She thought I was seeing somebody else in there, and when I said no, then I said it's about time to go, and that's when all the started. You went over to your truck, and she smashed it over your head there. A couple of things. You had no idea which way she ran or anything. Huh? You never saw her after that. Did you fall on the ground? Or? I walked right into the bar. I see falling on my knees. That's that's just, that's it. I mean, come on. Did she punch you, slap you, do anything else no, to you? No, no, It was just a slice. Yeah. And she'd never, okay, you know, so she never, I don't know really what hand. happened. When I seen the blood dripping on my knees, I thought, well, that you, means that you, you got the best of yeah. it. That's why I walked into the bar. Uh, basically, what happened was it, it came out as a stabbing. I think somebody probably saw him bleeding from the back of the head. Originally, what happened was they got into an argument about some domestic kind of problems. She ended up breaking a bottle over the back of his head. She took off. We're all searching the area now. We know where she lives. We've been to their house before. And if we can't find her today, it's something that we could probably get later on tonight or tomorrow. One of our units just uh, located a suspect that hit her boyfriend over the head with a bottle down here on Gravelly. We're going to head down there and assist him. 341. 
Bartender, I say, look, you need to cut them off. And she goes, well, you're both cut off. And mm -hmm. I said, well, OK, that's good. And uh, as soon as I came back to the bar, then I don't know what happened. What that's happened it. outside by the truck? Just tell me what you oh, told me earlier. Oh. Listen, ma'am, right now you're going to be placed under arrest. So you need to convince me why I shouldn't arrest you right now for the assault. Look, you can't arrest me, OK? I've been, my ass has been beaten up pretty much a lot, all right? He's not trying to make your life miserable. He's just trying to find out what happened over there. was being a jerk, okay? Okay. So here's his glasses. This is glasses? Look at take those. Six. What happened to them? No, those are ne regularly like that. Oh, they're like this all the time? N not all the time, but that's, that's his old pair from when back. How did he get a cut on his head? Probably when he fell down on the glass, like a dumb Oh, he fell on the glass. Yeah, he did. He, he, yeah, because he's drunk. You, you see how drunk he was, right? Uh -huh. Okay, so... Whose glass was it? He, was that just a, was uh, it that's his glass? glass. No, that's his glass. That is his glass. Okay. Well, any, what I need to do is turn around, put your hands behind your back. Let me take okay, we have her. Why don't you ship those up to the jail with copies uh, for 306. Okay, ma'am, right now you're being placed under arrest for aggravated assault. I've already advised Why you... Why did it happen with me? Yes, ma'am. This is what happens when you hit someone with a glass. You got two confirmed warrants out of district court. When I hit too. someone with a glass. Yeah, you're oh, so, that's you're also, wonderful. What are the warrants? Does he get beat the <laughs> out of me, but yeah. that's okay. Ma'am, ma you also have some warrants for DWI, okay? I don't care. It's okay. just a matter. Yeah, take a seat. Back in my car. All right. Pat her down. I pretty much checked her pockets, but I haven't really checked her that well. Do you have any, any weapons, knives, hand grenades, or anything like that? Okay, I'm gonna check real quick around your waist, okay? A guy beats me up and you want to do it to me. This beat up shirt. I'm going down to say it. People say, well, you beat me up. Then you say, well, what scars you got? What happened? That doll. I don't have nothing, but. So what did you do? I've been out to your residence before, haven't I? What did I say last time? What did I say last time? I, I said you needed to leave him, didn't I? Huh? Didn't I say that? Well, you want to stay with him and keep getting in trouble like this? That's what's going to happen. Well, there was supposed to be a car that was supposed to pick her up. That's where we were going to go to her house. Oh, is that what you're talking Yeah, we were going to head to her house because yeah. he's been there before. Uh, she's always getting beat up and she's always coming back. So she hasn't learned from the last time. She just keeps taking the beatings and going home. And you see it all the time. People, you know, getting in a domestic, leaving. And we, we tell them, get a restraining order or, you know, leave. Next day, you go back there and it's the same thing over and over again. They don't take our advice. They think it's going to get better, but it doesn't. I'm originally from uh, the central coast of California, actually uh, the city of Santa Maria, where I grew up, went to junior high and high school there. And ever since I was a little kid, you know, watching TV, uh, uh, those cops and robber shows, I uh, always wanted to, to be a police officer. And uh, when I found myself up here in the state of Washington, I decided not to go back to uh, California. So I, uh, I decided uh, that Pierce County Sheriff's Department would be an agency I would like to work for. Uh, so I went ahead and applied and, and got hired. That car we just uh, was at the intersection is right here on the hot sheet. 108. Hot sheets all the cars that are stolen in the city of Tacoma and the county in the last two weeks. So if they're not recovered and it's over two weeks, they just fall off. And so, oh, this is pretty current. And that one right there is right here, 108. Uh, red 75 Celica. But we got one off the sheet right here. It was coming south there when we went through the intersection and turned, so. I think it just turned into the Payless lot up here, so we'll go up and catch up and introduce ourselves to the guy here. 
Oh. 293 kind of priority. Roll that thing. Stolen car, buddy. We're in the parking lot of Payless, 150th in the Avenue, with one off the sheet, 108, uh, one white male occupant in the driver's seat. Put your hands out the window. Open the door. With your right hand, open the door. Step out of the vehicle and face away from me. Step out of the, of the vehicle. With your right hand, turn the vehicle off. Step out of the car, face away from me. Put your hands all the way up above your head. Take three steps to your left. I got the car covered, Frank. Lay on the ground right there. Put your hands out. Your palms up. Stay just like that. Car's clear. Give me your right hand. What's your name, partner? Whose car is that, James? My friend Glenn's. Just so happens the vehicle you're in. Do you have anything in your pockets that I could get stuck with? Why don't you go and put your feet up underneath you, your knees. There you go. Go ahead and step up. Here we go. Go ahead and have a seat right there real quick. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any question if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Hold on a second, man. This is something that's gone wrong. It's already gives a guy 100 bucks on a car. Do you have bill sell for it? I sure do. It's in the car. It's in the car? Where's it at in the it's car? It should be in my wallet, sir. Okay. Well, I have your wallet right here. We'll take a quick look. Uh, we keep a sheet of all the cars that are stolen in the county in the, in the city of Tacoma. And this just happens to be one of them on there. So when we pass the back there, the traffic light, it's just on there, so turn around and... He's got the key to it. But uh, if you make this smooth enough like this and file all the sharp edges off, it'll work in any Toyota, probably mid-70s to mid-80s. So I don't know if that's what he's done here. He's just got made his own key for it or what the deal is. But it belongs to somebody in Tacoma who I think, I don't know why, but they want it back. It's like 280 bucks to pay the car off. And then uh, I gave him $100 up front the other night. And we were both drinking. And gave him the keys and uh, rolled out a paper for him. OK. It should still be in here if I haven't lost it, but I hope to God it is. There's nothing there, sir. We both made a deal that night. I gave him 100 bucks for the car. I'll uh -huh. pay it off for 280 on the first and the next 300. Okay. All right, Mr. Here's your wallet. Hang tight. We'll get this squared away, okay? Thank you. Big house, man, huh? What's he saying? He says that, uh, that the RO <clears throat> was selling him this car. He had given the RO uh, 100 bucks a couple days ago. That's pretty steep, don't you think? A hundred bucks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he said he gave him a hundred bucks a couple days ago, so, you know, in the process of purchasing the car. He says he has a bill of sale for it, but he must have lost it him. because it's not in his wallet. Maybe it's under his half eaten cheeseburger in the glove box. Yeah. So that leaves Mr. in the situation that he's going to go to jail and the registered owner is going to come and get the vehicle. Are you the registered owner? I am. Do you, do you have an ID with you, sir? He, he said with a VCR and uh, do, you have a, do you have ID there? Oh, excuse me. My VCR and my phone. He stole my keys. You have my keys, right? Big set of keys? Yeah. It's do you have that key ring? Pete's taking a couple. Oh, okay. Like four, that's all my keys. Where, he stole, he stole where my do you know this guy from? He lives in the apartments I do. In the, he lives in the same apartment. Yeah, exact same apartment. Not the same apartment. He lives in the H, uh, H8. I live in the H61. Uh, the whole set of keys he's got is mine. You know, we're okay. checking now. So, 
How did he get your keys? He was he was at my house because him I guess girlfriend got in a fight and he uh so you can sleep on my couch no problem. Woke up next morning car's gone wallet's gone, uh, VCR phone. The kid got him a job then he's supposed to start work the next day. So he turns around and rips him off. That's it. I told him. Dude. I try to help people nowadays. It ain't like it used to be. Okay, I appreciate it. You got a problem. Uh, you guys did a hell of a good job. Thank you. Yeah. We got a car off the hot sheet, initiated a felony stop. He's going to go to jail for possession of stolen property in the second degree. His driver's license is also revoked in the first degree, and he's a habitual traffic offender. And he'll probably get more time for that than he will for stealing the car.